In this video we'll show how to import ready to wear garments in OBJ format into Unreal Engine using your draper without skinning. As I'm sure you know, the skinning of the clothes isn't an easy process. So here we have the first experimental version of using an automatic wrapping of the garment files around the avatar so the clothes can be animated with the avatar but without cloth simulation. This approach can be useful for the clothes that don't require significant movements and when the cloth distortions can be ignored during the animation. We start with OBJ files exported from Clo or Marvelous Designer. Most MD or Clo files available today are prepared for the built-in mannequins. In this video, we'll refit a MD cyberpunk suit for a metahuman avatar. As usual, we create a collider mesh in an A pose from our metahuman character body and the head and exporting it in OBJ format. In Clo or Marvelous Designer, we import our MetaHuman Collider Mesh as an avatar. Note the scale in centimeters. This suit consists of five separate parts so, we'll adjust them separately one by one while freezing the other ones. Let's start with the bodysuit as closest to the avatar surface. Start the simulation so the bodysuit gets draped around our new avatar. Freeze the bodysuit for now. Unfreeze and let's adjust the gloves. Then we do the same with the leggings. Adjusting angles and position for each leg. Starting the simulation. Obviously, these leggings are too long for our avatar. Let's shorten them a little. And finally, let's adjust and drape the jacket. Here we need to adjust the sleeves position. After all the pieces had been refitted, we can unfreeze them all and take a look at our result. 
First, let's use an original particle distance of 5 mm and export our suit in OBJ format. Uncheck all avatars, select the thick mesh options, and just export. Let's inspect our newly exported OBJ file. As you can see it has over half a million vertices, which may be a bit too much. Let's lower the number for vertices by increasing the particle distance to 12 mm. Now we are getting 300,000 vertices. Small details such as rivets and zipper contain a large number of polygons. If we export our suit without rivets and zipper, the number of vertices drops in half. You might want to take this into account in the future when you'll need to decide between the garment's details and your scene performance. Now, let's export our cyberpunk suit to import an Unreal Engine. This time we select all graphics and trims, thick, and unified UV coordinates. In Unreal Editor, we add the Draper garment to the Draper simulation component. Let's call it cyberpunk suit. In the action section, click on the import button and select the OBJ file we just exported from Clo. In order to import the textures, we should select something else in the texture processing instead of skip. Let's select the reference option. Then, we select disable cloth simulation, skip validation, and skip unreferenced material options. Note that the output folder specifies where the new files will be stored. You can specify a different path to that folder if required. Click Import. If there are no errors, you should see this notification that the garment doesn't have any simulation data and the simulation will be disabled. Note that OBJ files don't have any wrapping nor simulation information so, after importing, both simulation and wrapping will be disabled. Without wrapping and simulation, the clothes won't follow the character when it moves or changes poses. For that reason, it is very important to have a perfect match between the avatar's measurements and pose when you export and import OBJ files. To enable wrapping, we need to select a correct pose and save the newly imported garment. The wrapping information will be created and saved as well. With the wrapping enabled, we can change poses and animate our character and the garment will follow the body. Now, when we click Edit button and open the Draper Editor panel, we can see all the material positions for our suit. As you can see, that's a lot of material so, it should be easier to export and handle each piece separately. When exporting each part of the suit separately, we've going to position its UV map into the first quadrant. Before importing into Unreal Editor, we need to unzip our exported files. 
Let's add four draper garment components for the bodysuit, gloves, leggings, and the jacket. Then, we import the OBJ files for each piece of the suit. We've exported the bodysuit without the textures so, we can skip the textures when importing its model. For the gloves, leggings, and the jacket, we use reference for the texture processing. Now, in the Draper Editor, we see all four garments with their materials separately. Let's set up materials for the parts of our suit. For the bodysuit, we select some metallized leather material that we have created from the Adobe Substance Assets. We can adjust the color and save our changes. Also, we need to save the garment itself to enable the wrapping functionality. Save the gloves as well and adjust their materials. Then leggings. We can configure metallic materials for the rivets. And some leather for other parts. Don't forget to save our materials. And now the jacket. This front part should be shiny and translucent. In alpha section, we switch from mass to translucent material model and lower the maximum opacity. Add some leather materials to other parts of the jacket, and metallic look and feel for the zipper. Save the jacket to enable the wrapping. Now we can record an animation sequence with our newly dressed metahuman. Note that the FPS is quite low because of the high number of vertices. Again, this is our first experimental implementation, and it can be improved in the future. 
We appreciate your feedback whether this new functionality can be useful, for example, with the movie rendering when cloth movements and simulation is not mandatory. In the next part of this tutorial, we're going to show how to apply the same approach to OBJ files exported from iClone and DAS 3D.